So now the question is, is whether or not we are actually live. <laughs> so it says we have been live for a few seconds. There it goes. So we're now exiting host mode. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get a little bit of music going here. What we are going to be working on today is a little bit of Seven Days to Die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are in the process of making a new tune. Why? Because we can. Let's go ahead and send out the uh, going live notice there. Hopefully everything is up and running. All right. So, happy Friday, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Hope you also had a fabulous week. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of Undead Legacy. Yes, I know, I am back in Seven Days to Die. For shame. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, save this just because we can. Where did our... There it is. Okay. So we're just going to do single player, survival, random gen. Okay. And we're going to start. Yes? All right. Ah, it's kind of weird being back in the seven days to die. So I have a feeling I am either going to die horribly <laughs> or this is going to be a cakewalk. I'm not sure which. And from what I've heard about the uh, legacy, the Undead Legacy, is that it is kind of like a, uh, not so much Valmod, but definitely a, uh, a an interesting take on it. Because they do add a lot of new workstations, there's a lot of new recipes. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing, hopefully, we're going to wait for this thing to load here. So we're going to do a fresh start. We're going um, to... We are actually going to be going from start to finish, hopefully. I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. Hopefully that isn't too loud. There. All right. Oh, I have to say I am actually excited to get back into Seven Days to Die. Um, I've this one and what is it the Raven's Loft is the other mod that I'm actually kind of interested in so I figure what I'll do is we'll use this as the launching of a new series um, I'll probably do like th two or three episodes of this a week that'll be pre-recorded those will be over on the YouTube side of the house I know what we'll do for um, the live streams as we'll see about doing like the seven day horde on the Friday live stream. Oh. So if you want to see what's going on between now and the, the day seven after today, definitely go check me out over on the YouTube side. Oh. Loading player. <laughs> So I did do a little bit of research, and I did try this earlier uh, just to make sure that it would work. So, all right. So now we have our basic quest that we have to do. So let's go ahead and start picking up some of our stuff. Why am I... Man. All right. So let's try and hopefully gather as much crap as fast as possible. What was funny is I, like I said, I did jump in on the regular version of the game, the uh, using the vanilla inventory, and I, just from what I saw, from what I was gathering during that, yeah, no, uh, my my pack red OCD was kicking in, going ah, uh, because they've put so much cr stuff in the game. I don't want to say crap because it all looks really good, but see how you've got all of this stuff. 
All right, so one of the things to be aware of for those who have not played Undead Legacy is that some of the items are actually self-quest items. So what you'll do is you'll get an option to scrap them. Or do I have anything? No. Okay, so all of this can basically be scrapped. Now, these, are, these could be like actual quest items, um, but I'm not going to worry too much about them. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and start gathering some of this stuff up. All right, and we need stone. I actually need to make some what, rope. Yeah. So as you can see, they've changed the item menu. So you don't have a menu here, it's the grid. So basically you just have to find what you're looking for. You have the ability to set what you're crafting right there. What I'd like to be able to do is to pre-queue some of these things so that if you have, you know, if you know what you're making and you have the material, uh, you could basically set up an actual crafting queue. So it's like when this is done, do the next one. But eh, it is what it is. All right. I liked my last start better. <laughs> All right. Oh, look, more stone. Awesome. So we have our bed roll. Let's go ahead and throw this down just to go ahead and get that out of our uh, process there. Because we're just trying to finish the quest as quickly as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a little bit more. Because I think I need... Yeah, so I need one, one rope to make the axe. And our axe is there. What am I missing? I'm missing the rope. I just said I needed a rope. <laughs> Son of a... Alright. And now we're going to throw some of this stuff in our inventory here. I thought that the inventory was supposed to be larger. Oh, uh, interesting. Alright. So we need to grab some plant fiber, but first I'm going to grab a little bit more stone. I was hoping to have a few more feathers in the area because we're going to need them to complete the uh, the bow quest here in a moment but you know what since let's work let's work smarter not harder so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and gather up the stuff first we'll craft up five ropes and we'll make all of our uh, clothing that we need for the quest so we know we need five of these And that's going to take that. So we're going to go ahead and go over to clothing. We're going to have it craft up one of those. Craft up one of those. Craft up one of those. And craft up one of those. And then while that's crafting, what we'll do is we'll come over here. Continue taking this tree down. Yeah, Capco, I did. I installed the bigger uh, mod, not, or the bigger backpack mod. I don't know. I thought it should have been larger than that. Because that looks like it's the uh, the non-large backpack. So I'll have to take a look at it. How you doing tonight, by the way? Welcome to the stream. So yeah, we're basically just going to go through and grab... Yeah, that's what I said. I thought it was supposed to be like 50 or 60 uh, slots or something like that. Because shouldn't this have been... It should be like the size... Like this. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and put our clothing on finish that quest out uh, I actually can't complain it's it's a good Friday so far and we want the wooden club I do need to find some feathers in the near future basically just trying to get through the the starter quest so I can figure out where my uh, 
my starting merchant is so I know which way to start making my way towards I'm really hoping that I get the um, the one the, the, the forest one that has all of the working crafting stations but we'll see Go ahead and make our bowstring here. Uh, I think you're under general, aren't you? Yes, there you are. So we're gonna craft one of those up. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Craft one of those up. And while I am not a huge fan of the wooden club. Okay. So new starts are always interesting because of the fact that you have to uh, get so much stuff done so quickly. You played it on reds? Nice. Yeah, so I'll definitely take a look and see what's going on. Maybe the... Because uh, I'm using the mod loader. And I'm wondering if maybe something is uh, screwy. Like for some reason it picked... It, even though I told it to use the large, maybe it tried loading the small or the, like the vanilla version. So I'll figure it out. Yeah, I know. I need I need tons of lumber and I need tons of uh, plant fiber because you have to keep making rope for pretty much everything. And like I said, I was it was kind of weird because I was playing through earlier just on you know on the other version of the mod, the, the vanilla version. Just to just get an idea what the mod was going to be like to see if it, if I wanted to play it or not. And um, by the time I made it to six o'clock in game on day one, I had found a mini bike book, um, a power grinder, a welding torch, and something else. I had to reinstall the game twice. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing I'm probably I may have to uh, reload the game later what I'll do is I'll, I'll keep the save um, so we'll be able to keep the progress because what I want to do is I'm gonna turn this into a uh, an actual series I think over on the YouTube side and what we'll do is we'll try and do the every seven days we'll be on the, the Friday live stream for a little while So I do have everything set to default, which I think is two hour days. But we will find out in a bit. I want the resin is what I really want off of this stuff because I found that the resin is actually fairly useful as well, especially for making uh, bows and things. So yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking what we'll do is Fridays will be the uh, the Friday live streams will be the all day seven day day seven I should say. Let me repair you once more. And then we are going to head out once we get a bunch of this stuff done. I do want to see if we can find some more feathers because I don't want to start a fight with zombies until we have the feathers done or the arrows done or other. Yeah, and I'm playing with uh, all def default values, so I'm not quite sure what the settings are anymore. It's been so long since I played Seven Days to Die Vanilla. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and grab this. A little bit more. How much lumber is that? That's uh, 200. Alright, you know what? You, we are going to scrap and we are going to craft uh, I don't have any plant fiber I need some plant fiber there you go and we're gonna go ahead and craft you up put you back in the hand that you are supposed to be in and how many feathers do I have? I have five feathers. I have just enough to complete the quest. That is hilarious. That figures. Alright. 
This is local. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to bring up another community server in the near future. Um, I'm actually in the process of looking into other hosts. My current host has lost some of the things that made it attractive. And while I am getting a really good deal, um, at least it was a really good deal with the loss of things like the TeamSpeak server, um, not really happy with the service at this point because if I want TeamSpeak now I have to go through a second company and if I have to go through a second company for one aspect I may as well explore getting everything migrated over for everything so but if I do put up a, a multiplayer 7 Days to Die will definitely be one of the multiplayer and I'm not sure which mod if any I think what I'll do is the same thing we did last time the folks that are that want to play on the server will get a vote on which server it's going to be and which mod will load into the server as well. All right. So we need to do the wood frames. What do I need? I need 15 of those. And I need 48 of those. And how much? Didn't I say 48? All right then, okay. So we'll let that craft up. Uh, Pink Perfect is one of the, the companies I'm looking at. I'm also looking at Logic Servers. Um, I used to, when I first started hosting community servers, I actually used to use uh, Bluefang way back in the day. And the problem with Bluefang is, you know, they're pretty expensive for what you get. So. You know, the, the service is not bad. Um, but it was, like I said, it was a couple of years ago, and when we first started doing it, it wasn't necessarily the best solution for us at that point so but it is what it is you know it's all good all right and now it should be campfire right Going to keep chopping down some trees. Right on. Yeah, like I said, um, it is one of the companies that I'm looking at. What I'm really, what I'm really interested in is that it's something that works well for as many people as possible. All right. And some of the services, like Ping Perfect, actually has a lot of good locations around the world for um, server hosting. So, but between them and logic servers, I think are, are probably, it'll probably be one of those two. We'll see. Now there is a, a large company that does um, hosting, but they haven't moved into the US for game hosting yet, unfortunately. Basically, they're generally a, a corporate provider for internet. Well, I should say for cloud-based services at a corporate level. And now that we have more feathers. I try not to kill deer on day one. Um, personal preference. It's kind of my good luck charm over the years in Seven Days to Die. Mainly because I don't want to be carrying the raw meat. <laughs> so... <laughs> New York nice yeah so some of the servers like the old well the, the previous community server for seven days to die was actually hosted in a, a, a relay setup so you could there were actual there were local access nodes 
uh, one in Europe and one in the West Coast. So when you connect it, basically it would do a, a, a shaped routing all behind the scenes for me. Like I said, it was a really good deal. Um, but unfortunately, the company itself, while it's still doing okay, they've had a lot of changes to some of the business aspect of it. And uh, so I think it's getting to the point where it's about time for me to move on to a different server host at this point. So we're going to take a few more of these down, grab, get some of that lumber back that we uh, we accidentally expend it. All right, so we need where is our? Oh man, he is way the hell out there. Wow, how far out is he? Holy crap! All right, off we go. Let's go ahead and reload that up. I might go against my uh, my standard practice and actually hunt that deer because I might need the food sooner rather than later. But we'll see. Big money, big money, no whammies. Uh, scrap that. <laughs> Now I am going to be check, checking a lot of the like the trash and stuff. Um, so far, everything in this game that I have found that's been worth anything has actually come out of the trash. So you are glass and you are plastic. We'll go ahead and scrap you. Oh, that's right. Oh, it doesn't smell. I keep forgetting about that. I'm trying to remember, I think it was in Valmod where he uh, put the odor back on the meat. Like you actually got the uh, the icon and everything. Or maybe it was broken and you got the icon but it didn't actually have a, uh, an impact. I don't remember. It's hard to believe it's been so long since I've played this game at this point. Uh, got 37 arrows. Check everything. <laughs> well, that doesn't bode well. So we're going to get grab the gas can. Search trash pile. We get a lot of vanilla stuff. Ooh, shovel. That's always nice to find early on. Still didn't work in Valmod? Okay. Yeah, like I said, I couldn't remember if it did or not. Uh, see, my, uh, my pack rat OCD is going to drive me up the wall because there's stuff I want to pick up. And I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> Need a fire axe. Make sure nothing's sneaking up on us here. Grab some of this out of here really quick, hopefully. Look at you. Do we have any room left? No. You are iron. Let's scrap this down. Scrap you down for plastic. Scrap you down for metal. Pick you up. Yeah. Kind of upset. Wine bottle. At least it's not a box. Let's go ahead and drink that. Uh, 
And we got a nice buzz going. That's always good. All right. Now you are minus 10, so we are actually going to wear you. We are going to wear you. <laughs> So we gain a little bit of warmth and a little bit of cooling. Yeah, it's kind of bad, actually. Oh. Son of a... <laughs> Scrap that. No, we don't need the paper. I'm going to take the mini bike frame. <laughs> Son of a Anybody in here? Of course it is. Let's go ahead and take this stuff out. Yeah, I think what it's going to come down to is... Uh, scrap that. Do we have any room? No. Crap. Oh, look at you. Yay, Golden Rod D. Search the bookcase. Hagler's code, shotgun schematic. Scrap helmet schematic. It's not too bad for a first day. Now, I do like the concept in this that... Old Science Magazine. Nice. Trade item. Oh, I'll take it. Scrap it for a little bit of brass. Cloth. Let's see, can we examine it? Yes, we can. Oh, you son of a... Go ahead and drink that. Take that. I really want that jar, though. Oh, here are the maple seeds. I just realized I was carrying two stacks of seeds in there. Okay. Let's see what we got going on. Hey, pickles. Sharky will appreciate those. Pick that up. Old cassette player. Doors locked. They even have wellness. Nice. Yeah, so I, I do like the fact that the game has so, like, this particular mod has so much stuff in it. But I also dislike it because it has so much stuff in it. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, my, my pack rat OCD. Oh, man, look at that. I know I need those for one of the workbenches, too. Uh, let's drop... Actually, you know what? That frees up two slots, because I want that... Anything good? No. There we go. Venison on the hoof is heading that way. Let's head over this way. But well, we have a long way to go and a short time to get there. So I'm going to start heading over towards the, uh, the merchant, the trader, so we can uh, actually go get some things done. Hopefully before dark. Okay. Working stiff. Always a good thing to find early on. Anything good? Dead mouse. Apple. Candlestick we can scrap. Apple we can eat. I think we can make... 
I think we can uh, turn those into seeds too. I've been looking at a bunch of mods, so I may have it confused as to which ones are which. But we're definitely going to be coming back this way to hit the uh, the tool store up. How many how many frames can I make? Is the question. All right, so let's take a look really quick. Oh. I heard something. That's a big gas station. Okay. There's a wolf over there. I kind of need a. I kind of need something to gut the wolves if I'm going to be hunting wolves. Damn it! I don't want to use all my arrows if I don't need to. Well, you know, it's when you play mods like this, it's great to see other people playing them. Especially if it's uh, something that you yourself might not normally play. But because I was I was thinking about playing it, I basically only took enough time to uh, make sure it was something that I wanted, that I thought that it would be something I would want to play. Okay, so... What's sad is I think we're going to need that at some point. Uh, I really hate to do this, but... Kind of want the cardboard. That way I don't have to make it. Yeah, like I said, I spent a little bit of time on it earlier. You know, there's going to be like a stack of feathers in here. Son of a... Yeah, knew it was going to happen. All right. There you go. Where'd that, where'd that nest go? <laughs> there you go. Uh, I need to stop. <laughs> not, you know, not stopping at every bird's nest. It's that seven days to die OCD, man. You gotta you gotta stop and uh, pick up the birds' nests, especially in this mod. The whole food rots, like uh, basically it becomes less likely you find usable food, like that. And it is way too early to have a vulture in this game. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Did I just run into a cacti? I ran into a cacti. Where'd he go? There he is. Come here, buddy. Ah, crap. And I'm getting heat stroke. <laughs> I just can't win, can I? Damn it. Too much wildlife. Too much wildlife. And now we have a zombie too. Why am I not surprised? We have two zombies now. See, I don't want to go hunting the wolves because I don't have a uh, shiv to harvest with. Harvest him with. One down. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, so I shot through one and hit the other one. Is that crap? One zombie down. You better not be eating my wolf. That's my wolf. Oh, hello. <laughs> Damn, vulture. I want to kill the, the vulture. 
There's two. There he goes. All right. So, much as I hate to do this this way, actually, it's animal hide. Do we have? So let's go ahead and make all the arrows we can. See if I can get a bone out of this really quick, make a shiv. Please tell me I got a... Crap. <sighs> I was hoping to get a shiv so we could get, or uh, get bones so I can make a shiv out of it really quick. Nope. Wait a minute, where are you? Chrysanthemum seed. I got, uh, uh oh, we're gonna harvest it. We're getting the important stuff. There's the bone that I want it for a shiv. Okay. So three, we go ahead and drop you. What is it? It's G? Yeah. Pick you up. Animal fat, animal fat. All very useful things. We're gonna turn you into a bone shiv. What am I missing to make more arrows? I am missing stone. All right, so what do we have that we can get rid of? Let's go ahead and eat that. See if that gives me a glass jar. It does. Pick up the animal fat. There we go. Okay. Looks like the, uh, is that the trader? That can't be a trader. That looks like a camp. Ugh. Might need to drop some stuff off, swap out the, uh, the puffer coat. Cause I don't think we need the puffer coat for, for right now. Hopefully nothing comes up and eats us while we're Small engine, of course. Look at this. Look at this stuff. You were gonna scrap. Knitter's loom. You believe this? Let's drop that stuff. Take the nails. Take the small engine. I think it's um, using crafting recipes. Okay. Time to go. <laughs> So the only reason I'm being able to keep my uh, stamina up is because I was drinking the wine earlier, apparently. Ugh. But we are dehydrating quickly, so... We're going to have to find a water supply here shortly. And hopefully some more feathers. Like I said, I... The getting the stone. Oh, look at you. You are too damn tempting. Yes, I know he's as hard to kill as the uh, the the big guy. Fat Carl, I believe Midnight calls him. But that's okay. Come on, buddy. Give me a complete mini bike. You know you want to. <laughs> Let's wear those. And beer. Oh, okay. Oh, the leather pants are making me even warmer. Great. <laughs> Doesn't that figure? Oh, man. 
can of dog food, pineapples, wooden club, better than the one I have. So you were gonna scrap. You were gonna eat. Where'd that can get off to? So what did it just drop in my inventory? The lumber, interesting. All right, so. Grab that. Uh, that puffer coat is just doing us in. Let's get rid of that. Oh, hello. That was not nice. I'm trying to sneak up on somebody. Okay, my aim has gone to crap. Ah. Uh, Joel's worst idea right there. These things are so damned annoying. I hate the snakes in this game. But you do get nice stuff out of them sometimes. Hopefully at least. Could you imagine getting a, the actual mini bike, like the entire thing for the mini bike on day one? I've had it happen where I was like, I think day two and had it. Uh, we'll come back for that. <laughs> a Chucky doll would we'll definitely come back for that. All right. Strangely appropriate song. Hello. Oh, hello. Down goes the puppy. Okay. Getting the important stuff. As long as I'm not bleeding, that's works for me. Okay. Didn't those just open the other way? <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got going on in here. Hopefully we can Big Money? Nope, destroyed. Yeah, Mr. Station is destroyed as well. stone lets me make more arrows do I really have no more wow okay all right I'm in there let's see did we get the absolutely crap tastic nope we got the one that somewhat works okay Now, I had one game where I actually had zombies spawn in here once. Which I didn't think was possible, and I guess it was the mod that I was using. Took the, the zombie protected status off of the, uh, the traitor areas. Right. So, you know what? We're going to sell you just because we can. Uh, we definitely want to keep this. Oh, 
I really don't want to. It's like I don't want to sell that yet. Can't sell those yet. Can we not sell any more of that? That sucks. Okay. All right, so that opens up a little bit more stuff for us. Plastic filament. Wow, look at all this crap, dude. That is rather nuts. M30? Holy dude. Fries. It's good to know that he's going to have food for us at some point. He's got a secret stash here. Not a whole lot of anything. Engine oil pan, crankshaft. All right. So one of the things we haven't done yet is look at our skills. Let's take a look here. See what we've got going on. Got 17 points available. All right. So I'm gonna start down here at the bottom. These are all of the things that you need books to find. Yeah, well, uh, minor 69ers and usually not a bad idea. Bad mechanic is usually good early game because you're using just miscellaneous things to collect parts. Uh, do you think we want to go weapons and tools? That's frames and things. Oh. Six points left. Not sure what I want to put it into. It's been so long since I played. You know what? Let's go ahead and. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it just because it gives us early game gives us um, additional resources hey shades how you doing welcome to the stream happy Friday or you know if it's late enough happy Saturday <laughs> uh, it's just paper come here you Oh, look at that. There we go. More plastic bottles. Holy crap. All right, so we're going to scrap that just for the metal. We're going to examine that. Come on. Thank you. Scrap you for the plastic. Scrap you for the plastic and pick you back up. All right. I should be picking up the Yuka is what I should be doing. So we got a town over there. Snow biome and we're close to water. The problem is that this trader has nothing really useful as far as uh, starting gear. Like if he had... If he had working uh, craft stations, he does have the basic craft station though. Just the workbench. Perfect. Look at you. Oh. So nice. Feathers. Oh. I hate to give up the animal fat, but. I need the feathers more than I need the animal fat. Okay. So do we have a stack of wood on us right now? No. What do we need to make a chest here? So to make the workbench, we need all sorts of crap. What do we need?
Come on. All right. That's not going to do us a whole lot of good, is it? Because we need screws, we need brass hinge, we need glue, and we need planks, which we can do, but... Forge steel for a secure... What? Oh, man, you have got to be kidding me. <sighs> All right, so this means... Duffel bag, rope and cloth. Neither of which I can... I have on me. <laughs> I done that figure. All right. Let's see about making uh, use of the area here. See what we can get resource wise. Hey, look, mini bike seat. Oh. I hate to use that. But it is what it is. All right. Old cartridge, we're going to scrap you. You we want. Uh, crap. No, come here. Thank you. All right. So what I was going to do is we're going to head back down here a little bit. I'm going to use the uh, the mailbox, basically the store stuff. Actually, you know what? We have that. Let's, no, I don't want to. I don't want to leave the expensive stuff that's because <laughs> it'll be my luck that that'll be destroyable, right? Let's uh, close that. Whoa, hello. Where in the... Of course I am. I hate that vulture. You son of a... Damn it, bird. Are you kidding me? I hate the fact that these guys are basically instant infection. Punk. Well, at least we get more feathers out of it. This might be the shortest playthrough <laughs> I have ever done. Oh, all right. So let's get you over there. So what we're going to do is we're, the stuff that we can't readily use right this second. We're going to try and get out of our inventory. Anything good? Huh. Glue is something that we can use. We're going to scrap that. But see, that like the stuff like the claim block, the plastic, uh, the pliers, this kind of stuff. Because I know that we need it eventually, but we can't use it immediately. So it doesn't do us a whole lot of good to have it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and gather up a little bit of lumber so that we can start making the, uh, the some wood frames. And basically what I'm going to do is cut a hole into that mountainside there and build a little area for us to hide in for the evening. So first things first though, we do want to get this done. What's our temperature up to? 85. Our temperature's not too bad. Swear, man. My aim has gone to crap. <laughs> Ugh. Do you give hydration? You do. Water bottle and brass, always nice things to find.
Man, I'd love to have gotten the business suit off of him. The business suit is always nice to find because it's uh, it tends to give you a lot of uh, of dukes when you sell it. Hey, shades. Yes, this is single player. Um, I've we were actually talking about it earlier about setting up a new community server uh, because we are doing Legacy of Undead or Undead Legacy rather. And um, yes, it's the I played for I don't know maybe about an hour just to see if it was a mod that I wanted to get into or not. Let me go ahead and repair. And I've been having a lot of fun with it, so I figured, yeah, we go ahead and do it. But I don't know if we'll do this for the multiplayer or not. Um, I do like the fact that it does not have the, uh, the skill locks that you need for things like Valmont. So it means everybody, you know, has a little bit easier time being able to do the things that they want to do. You don't have people who are stuck with specific skill sets that you find out later that you don't need until very end game and then the people who have things that you only need very early you know this way everybody can do what they want um, but yeah let me know what you think since you're one of the folks that likes to play on the multiplayer servers let me know alright so we're trying to get enough of this stuff together now did I drop I dropped the uh Look at you. And let's harvest up a bunch of stone. Yeah, see it. Forgot the first rule of seven days to die. You don't stand still unless you have no other choice. Go ahead and get as much stone as we can. Be able to start smelting down some of the iron in a bit as well. I'd like to be able to get to the uh, forge as quickly as possible. But the loot drops have been pretty good so far, so. Now I am mad because this was supposed to be the bigger backpack version. And for some reason, we have the little backpack, so. You know me and my pack rat uh, tendencies. Always need more inventory space. Oh, uh, we want to repair you. And like I said, we're just trying to get enough of this stuff together that we actually have a little bit of a stockpile. I'll probably run around and pick up the yucca here shortly. Start taking the cacti apart. Hey buddy, how you doing? Oh, look at that. Ah. <laughs> Holy crap, look at this. And the one thing that I kind of want, let's examine that, except. Woman's wallet. We're gonna scrap that for the leather. That'll give us paper, but I'm not really wanting the paper. I'll scrap that. Pick these up. All right. Okay, was that a snake that I heard, or was that? <laughs> uh, all right. So we have handlebars. We're gonna sell. Oh, come on, get through the door. Thank you. We're gonna sell some of this stuff really quick. There's a couple of things we picked up that we're gonna drop off, like the uh, cigar box. Oh, it won't let me sell it. Damn it. I thought there was a sell value on it. Hey, got a cigar. Oh, they nerfed the hell out of that. 
The black suit pants used to be like ridiculously like valuable when you sold them. Let's see if he's got... Of course not. Why would he have the things that I need to save my life with, right? <laughs> Son of a... Oh, bloody hell. Yep. Pizza slice. Man, that makes me hungry for pizza in real life. All right. So do you have food and drink? You have food, you have drink. What are you selling the Yuka for? You're selling that for way too much. Cola. Well, if you buy that for... So beer extinguishes fire. <laughs> so why is the wine now see I would have thought that the beer would have been cheaper than the wine to, to sell alright oh. alright let's see what he's got in vending so what are you selling that for you are selling that 35 36 34 ah, I want to buy it all right that's fine it gives me a couple of more glass jars that we can work with So you can go in there, you can go in there. And I think everything else we need to hold on to for now. We need to start making some uh, wood frames really quick. In order to make the frames, we're going to need the boards. How many do we need? We need two per. So we're going to make... Twenty. That should give us enough planks to get a couple of frames going. What we're gonna do here? Wow, they nerfed. <laughs> they really nerfed this. The special flavor of the mod is just in the. Uh, the difficulty, I think. Oh. So, basically what they've done is they've reworked things like the skill tree. Um, just show you here really quick. So, instead of the old crafting menu where you'd have all the items listed, you have the grid, and you choose what you want, and you can, you know, queue up everything. It's actually really well done. Wooden hinge, what do I need to make a wooden hinge? If I can make the wooden hinge. How many of those do I need to make that? I need two of those. Hey, what do you know, it makes two, okay. Can I make that? No, I need one more. There we go. Now we can make one of these. But yeah, so basically, um, what my experience with it has been so far is that there's a lot new. There's a lot of materials now. Um, things make basically it takes more materials to make regular blocks. What you're used to making all the time. So, fr as you saw, frames take the pegs. They or wooden dolls. They also take planks. Um, 
And depending on what you're making, it'll have different amounts of them. So. But so far, it's been a lot of fun. It's um, it's pretty brutal. It's definitely not as difficult as like True Survival or um, some of the other like hardcore mods. But it does have that nice. It does have the nice thing that it's a. It's kind of like vanilla 1.5, I guess. Uh. All right, so. I'm wondering if. Is this going to be far enough in for us to be, basically be able to hide for the night? Now I want to have a couple of frames here. So the one thing I was surprised by is that when you're making the frames, you also have to have the sap. Basically use that as glue. And uh, so zombies and animals, it's mostly what you would get in normal. Um, I think they are using some of the UME zombies. I'll have to check to make sure. But for the most part, the, the zombie behavior is pretty much the same from what I've seen so far. I haven't seen any of the uh, things like with tr uh, Starvation or True Survival where you get those unique UMEs. But, but so far it's been, it's been good. And considering, you know, this is our uh, our first re jaunt back into Seven Days to Die, I figured we'd keep it at least on a little on the easier side. Yeah, we're running just default settings right now. Um, one of the things that I do, I am looking at, is I'm also looking at the Ravenhurst mod. And that one looks brutal. <laughs> so, so I may end up doing that one. We're just trying to figure out what we want to do for as far as the like a series is concerned. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and head in here. No, in here. Yes. Oh, I've got the stone. We're gonna grab. Oh, excuse me. Hiccups. We're gonna grab that. I think I need some of this other stuff too. Drop you off because I can't make anything with you yet. Get you out of my inventory. Right. And the bed roll. All right. So let's, before it gets too much later, let's go grab, let's grab you. We're going to switch you guys out. Because what I want to do is I'm going to go grab some water before it gets too late in game. Now what we'll do is we'll actually see if we get another bone out of this. Did we get another? Nope. I was hoping we got another small bone, but oh well, here's what it is. Well, that's fine. I mean, I don't mind if the uh, you are. We're gonna take you because you're leather. If I need to scrap you, uh, but yeah, I was gonna say I don't mind if you have to like if you have a a multiplayer thing because that's the thing with Valmod is kind of the same way. You really want to be in a uh, or even true survival or starvation. You kind of want people to be there so that you can make a, uh, you know, everybody basically has their little specialty and you continue on doing what you need to do. Oh, this is bad. All right. 
So I'm, I'm actually fine with that. And I know with Ravenhurst, it, 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 yeah, it added something like 700 new items or something like that to the game. Plus the UME mod, or the UME zombies, I should say. So you have a lot more variation in there, and you get the, uh, the other zombies that people have created. Do I have corn? No. Let's grab some corn. Definitely went the golden rod. Hey, bird's nest. All right. We'll grab some more golden rod. And it would be really nice if one of these things I opened up had a uh, <laughs> an antiviral in it. Man, can you believe that? Day one, <laughs> already infected. I am so mad about that. Uh, oh, cotton. I can use... Really? I don't curse full? Well, crap. Alright. That's fine. We'll make do. But yeah, like I said, it's... um. I, I like those types of challenges where, you know... You can't do everything on your own, or you're not supposed to be able to do everything on your own, at least easily. So, eh, is what it is, right? Each their own. Oh. And I think you are the bird's nest we've already searched, right? Oh, you're a new bird's nest. There you go. Alright, so let's head back over to our little bolt hole area. that. May as well pick it up. We're here. I'm not going to say no to it. Oh, I know, right? So apparently um, I was talking to Rongo uh, last weekend, actually, and he's been playing Ravenhurst. Apparently he absolutely loves that mod. Yeah, day one, it tends to, it's like if you're going to be infected long term, it's better to go ahead and just die and lose the wellness from dying than from the, uh, the infection. Because you'll eventually die from the infection anyway. <laughs> so it's like... So I just want to hollow some of this out a little bit so that we can actually build a small area for us to hide in and put down a bedroll really quick and that way we can spawn near it uh, he is absolutely loving the playing the game for the sake of playing it not recording he while he enjoyed his time um, doing YouTube videos and live streams and such, it was just, it was very tiring. Um, we spend a large, for, for those who don't know how the back end of it is, we spend a lot of our time doing things like just getting everything set up so we don't have to do stuff like this on screen where we're sitting here hammering away at a wall for, you know, 20 minutes. So between that and then the, you know, the, the difficulty and the time it takes to do the video recording and the editing and uploading. Yeah, he's he's liking having a lot more free time. <laughs> he's actually running a D and D game. When I when I ran into him, well, I didn't run into him. When I saw him online and he and I were chatting, the reason he was online was because he was actually GMing <laughs> at that point. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so can I get... Awesome. Alright, so what we're doing here is, you know, working on getting this hollowed out a little bit.
hoping before we get to stage two infection, because it basically each of the stages progress in a 24 hour period. So I'm hoping to be able to get our, our wellness up a little bit. Awesome, look at you. Yeah, but if I can get my wellness up to like 103 or so. Awesome. Um, it'll make it much easier to deal with stuff. Hey, they're coming for me. Run away. <laughs> yeah. Come on, wellness. I'm really wanting to get a campfire down, and that's basically what I'm digging out for right now is to put that down. I could use the one in the... Um, the trader area, but then I won't be able to get to it in the middle of the night. And I want to be able to, to boil some of the stuff down so we can make some uh, gold rod, get our, our wellness up quickly. Or at least quicker, I should say. So we're going to repair you. I'm going to craft you up really quick. Hopefully be able to take a couple more of these out. So night one, I don't generally worry too much about what's going on. Um, but like I said, with the, with the infection, I want to get my wellness up at least one more. Then we'll, you know, suicide, get rid of the, get rid of the infection. Having infection day one, just, it slows the game down way too much. And there. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go ahead and drop you. We are going to put that in there. Awesome. So, ah, oh, the plastic bottle on golden rod. Ah, oh, look at you. Aren't you fancy? Right. So we'll cook those. I need jars of water, so those we can cook those. 34 seconds. All right. All right, so we can actually fill the plastic bottles too. That's good. All right, so now that we have some place to start dropping some of this stuff. Put our starter chili in there. And actually, we're gonna suicide, so let's go ahead and throw everything in there. Not really worried about most of this. And I just threw all <laughs> damn it, I just put all the wood in here. <laughs> all right. Oh, let's get you back out. Because what we're going to do is we're going to pick this up. I drop this in here. Go ahead and cook that up. All right, so let's go ahead and drop 
basically we're gonna drop everything off here and then we are do I have oh you can't just suicide anymore can you you have to have glass all right so we're gonna we're gonna go out and pick a fight with something <laughs> oh well the funny thing is I don't know what I've got it set up for if I've got it set to drop everything or are you kidding look at this look at this crap uh. okay that's just too funny Where's the zombie? I want to go punch a zombie in the face. Come on. <laughs> Where you at? Come on, zom zoms. I got a bone to pick with you. Well, you know what's gonna. You know what's gonna happen is I'm going through all of the the pro all the process of doing this. And I'm going to end up with, like, just ridiculous amounts of resources <laughs> before they finally kill me. Oh, come on. Oh, look at that. Necklace. Nice. Oh. Find a dog in the wasteland? Yeah, I know, right? Um, normally I would, but I'd actually not like to have a dog this close to where I've got my temporary base. So we're just going to run around, gather resource until something kills me. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, this is why I hate having the, the infection day one. It just, it slows the game down way too much. The, uh, the birds really should not be able to infect you with at such a high rate. Uh, I think the last time I looked in the XML it's something like a 60% rate or something like that of infection. They are more likely to give you an infection than not. So I don't know if that's changed or if I'm just misremembering that. It might may have been because of a mod. I don't know. So I do so much with the different mods it's it's crazy. Yeah, I know. I don't want to waste a bottle to make broken glass, though. Oh, screw you. <laughs> We're just going to move on. Oh. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's kind of funny that... You know. Hey, there's a zombie. Look at all this stuff. See? Even when I'm trying to get my character killed, <laughs> I have to go loot things. Come on. Rocky Balboa on ya. Come on. <laughs> Are you kidding? That is... Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh. Zombie abuse. <laughs> oh. Okay, that is just hilarious. See, when, I, when I'm worried about it, first hit, they start me bleeding, infection, whatever, you know. <laughs> when I don't care. Uh, rubber ducky, cigarette pack, nice. 
All things that I could probably sell. All right. <laughs> oh, it's a Twitcher. Good work, buddy. Come on, come on. Let's get some stamina back. Oh, walk into the jab, walk into the jab. Uppercut. <laughs> oh. I hit him so hard I squished his head. Oh man. That, okay, that's just funny. Oh. That is a boar. That is pretty much a guaranteed death. Pick a fight with a boar. Hmm. Guess we should at least do a little bit more exploring. It doesn't do any it doesn't do any harm. Hey, Farmer Joe, how you doing, buddy? Oh. <laughs> Settle down. Take it on the chin. <laughs> oh, he got me. <laughs> oh. All right. If you're going to go out, go out swinging, right? <laughs> now the question is, is do I drop my backpack or not? Hey. Don't drop backpack. Okay. So the only real drawback to this is we are now coming up on the midnight hour. And I think I am going to call this one here. I want to thank you all for stopping in tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's good seeing everybody again. Uh, Shades, let me know if you are interested in uh, doing the multiplayer server thing again, and if so, which mod you want to see on the server. So I am I am looking to replace the old server. So, but just let just let me know. For the folks who are watching this as a video on demand later, you are able to find us over on YouTube if you want to see more of the fun and excitement of what goes on between today and day five. Or day seven, rather. <laughs> you can find us over here. If you have any questions, you are feel feel free to reach out to me over on Twitter. And if you want to become part of the community, hit us over hit us up over on Discord. On that note, I'm going to get out of here. I hope everybody has a fantastic night. Have a terrific weekend, and we'll see you back here next time for more Seven Days to Die. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. <laughs>Awesome shade, sounds good. Hope you have a fabulous weekend, hon. <laughs> Take care.